The annual Commonwealth of Independent States Summit in Moscow also focused on security matters, with leaders appointing the chairman of the Coordination Committee on Air Defense and the head of the CIS Anti-Terrorism Center. Additionally, the presidents adopted a two-year cooperation program for deradication efforts and approved amendments to the interstate wanted list, enhancing collaborative security measures across the region. So, what does the side-by-side -side seats of both leaders of Armenia and Azerbaijan at the summit signalize about? And what does the threat of Afghanistan for the countries of Central Asia mean in the context of Eurasian security? Baljan Samigulina talked to experts and discussed with them a new Eurasian security concept. Details about it in the explainer section. As the leaders of the CIS gathered for the discussions in Moscow, a key agenda was a new deradicalization program proposed by Uzbekistan to combat extremism. Interestingly, first time in two years, the meeting included the participation of both the Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev. Even though Armenia refused to sign two CIS statements on Eurasian security cooperation and no use of unilateral sanctions, Observers paid notable attention to the closed seats of both leaders on the table of the meeting. Richard Giragosian, director of Regional Studies Center Independent Think Tank, said that even though there were no expectations of any diplomatic engagement between Armenia and Azerbaijan in Moscow, this meeting was not a missed opportunity for both of them. So this meeting was not a missed opportunity because rather for Armenia and Azerbaijan, the real emphasis was on the bilateral relationships between their countries and Russia. And in this regard, the real breakthrough came at the end of the meeting, where Russia agreed to turn over border control of the Armenian border with Iran to Armenian sovereign control. Kazakh analyst Renabek Arunov, an assistant professor at Nazarbayev University, noted that the seating arrangement of the conflicting parties should be viewed as a positive sign. It's not just coincident that they were sitting next to each other. Uh, this protocol uh, services of both sides and also the hosting country, and they are very meticulously um, kind of they meticulously think about this kind of uh, small things. And uh, from that perspective, I think. Um, to presidents uh, of um, countries um, currently in conflict, in military conflict, sitting next to each other, should probably be interpreted as a potentially good sign. The Eurasian security concept was designed to respond appropriately to a wide range of challenges, from traditional military threats to security issues such as energy security, climate change and transnational crime. At its core, it seeks to promote stability, cooperation and development throughout the Eurasia, eliminating external and international risk that could destabilize in the region. But if we remember the original reason of the need for Eurasian security and retrospectively turned to the discussions of past years, we would see the basic factor of Afghanistan when it comes to the countries of Central Asia. The situation there cannot be called calm, but Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, China and Iran are gradually removing diplomatic and economic barriers when working with Afghanistan. Kazakhstan in particular removed the Taliban from the list of terrorist organizations. Thus, Afghanistan is gradually receding into the background as a military danger. In other words, today, while the Afghan situation remains important, it's no longer the sole priority. And here come economic and social issues of the region that are increasingly taking the central stage, Jeanne Karunov said. I fully support that for neighboring countries that we need to find a way to cooperate with, with Taliban. Uh, anyway, this or that way. Um, so I think in that sense, sometimes the Afghan issue is a bit overemphasized. So, but more urgent issue for me would be so domestic social economic issues in, in Central Asian countries because economic consequences of the countries have been um, growing for, for, for all the countries. And it's, uh, this, this uh, is creating quite severe, unstable domestic um, problems for all countries in the region. 
However, experts emphasize that it's still too early to talk about a resolution to the Afghan situation. This is largely due to different strategies among countries on how to engage with Afghanistan under Taliban rule, which has complicated the already challenging process of regional consolidation since the Taliban's rise to power in 2021. Currently, there has been little progress on forming an inclusive Afghan government, despite calls from SCO member states for governments that represents all ethnic groups. Moreover, the issue of legitimizing the Afghan authorities remain unresolved on the international stage. In addition, other geopolitical tensions in the region initiated changes in the world order and in particular has given a rise to the creation of a multipolar world. In the future, the new concept of Eurasian security will help the continent states to respond to a variety of regional challenges, including national and economic security, as well as issues of social development, cultural interaction and climate change. The pressure in question now arises of what are the threats that are are common to all countries of Eurasia at the same time, considering it's not in a geographical but in a more Monday sense. Oddly enough, these are not military threats but rather natural and energy ones. We shouldn't be forgetting about uh, some untraditional uh, security issues, right? So more commonly it's about the climate change, it's about water issue, uh, it's about the border. I mean, of course, most of the border has been settled down in Central Asia, but uh, the last, uh, most, maybe the most severe one between Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan, we are hoping, fingers crossed, that they will solve this issue as well. But again, potentially water issues, climate, um, domestic, uh, economic, social issues will be more important than any kind of war in the region. The new concept of Eurasian security is based on the fact that the European countries can also become participants in the formation of a multipolar world order based on the principles of equal cooperation, excluding external influence. Kazakhstan in these matters adhere to the principle of indivisible Eurasian security, and the neutrality policy that is also facing challenges is noted by Arunov. And in given circumstances, again, we have uh neighboring countries who are part of these conflicts. We have other uh, important partners who are part of these conflicts and that definitely there is an increasing tension, the pressure on Kazakhstan. But in that kind of circumstances, again, Kazakhstan is saying that we are uh, working with anyone based on, based on our own national interest, um, following international law. I think that's the most um, logical um, foreign policy. Richard Giragasian noted that the bigger trend nevertheless would be the escalation of conflict on the Middle East, which while not having a direct impact on Central Asia, would be likely to divert the attention of major powers to it. He also emphasized that the progress for regional security issues would also demand on the outcomes of the upcoming election in the United States. Over the short term, the real let's say, impact will be on the looming U.S. presidential elections coming only weeks away. That will directly impact U.S.-Russian relations and therefore security in Central Asia and Eurasia. So I do think we have developments coming in both the West and the East that could remake the security map for the region. To sum up, ensuring Eurasian security amid rising geopolitical tensions is a present challenge for key regional players and institutions. It encompasses not only military and political issues, but also economic security addressing a range of concerns from poverty and inequality to climate and environmental challenges. There also remains the problem of religious extremism and terrorism, which without a doubt is extremely important and relevant. All of them are poised to be included to a shift in policy of new Eurasian Security Concept. Mojan Samigulna, Dil Nurjanov, New Time.